A key advisor to Donald Trump on Middle Eastern policy will become the latest senior figure to leave the White House. Dina Powell, the U.S. president's deputy national security advisor, will quit the administration early next year, the White House has confirmed. The announcement came just two days after Mr. Trump's controversial move to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital, which has sparked demonstrations in the West Bank and across the Arab world. However, close Trump allies say Ms. Powell's departure had always been planned and the former Goldman Sachs executive would continue to offer advice from outside government. National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster told The Washington Post, Dina has been an invaluable member of President Trump's team. She organized and drove an effort to restore our nation's strategic competence. Her sage advice helped provide options to the president and her strong relationships across the U.S. government and internationally helped drive execution of the president's decisions. All of us look forward to continuing to work with her as she continues to support this administration's efforts on Middle East peace and other issues. Apeshan-born Ms. Powell had previously served in the George W. Bush administration and was appointed to her current post in March this year. She had offered foreign affairs advice to the Trump White House, with a particular focus on the Middle East, planning the president's trips to Saudi Arabia and Israel. Ms. Powell had reportedly clashed with key figures in the administration, such as Secretary of State Rex Tillerson and former chief strategist Steve Bannon, over the direction of Mr. Trump's foreign policy. The president's decision to recognize Jerusalem as the Israeli capital this week saw tensions flare on the West Bank. Palestinian demonstrators carried out protests as part of a day of rage on Friday, in which at least two people are thought to have been killed and 200 others injured during clashes with Israeli forces. Mr. Trump's declaration was described as a courageous and just decision by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, but has received widespread condemnation from Arab nations and Western U.S. allies, including the U.K. More about Donald Trump U.S. Jerusalem Israel Palestine Reuse Content